Michelle, court just wrapped up for the day a few minutes ago. So far, the state's called four witnesses, including a forensic pathologist, a nurse, the former medical examiner for the Commonwealth of Virginia, and a New York man who's dedicated his life to studying microwave ovens. To this point, all the testimony is focused on establishing the timeline and method of how baby Paris Talley died. China Arnold sits quietly in the front of an almost empty courtroom. Unlike her previous two trials on Wednesday, only a few people filled the pews. Throughout the day, they heard testimony from four different people, including Kimberly Snyder, a nurse at Dayton Children's, who was in the trauma room when China Arnold brought in her 28-day-old daughter, Paris Talley. Just yelling out that her baby was not burned that her skin was peeling off. She told the jury Paris was pronounced dead about 15 minutes after she was brought in, but at the time they didn't know what caused the baby's bizarre injuries. It was later determined that baby Paris was burned in a microwave. She died because she was overheated. She was cooked. Dr. Marcella Fierro, the former chief medical examiner for the Commonwealth of Virginia, investigated the only other death on record in the U.S. where an infant was killed in a microwave. I know she died very quickly after her temperature reached 107 or 108. At one point, the microwave from Arnold's Parkside apartment was wheeled in, and Robert Schiffman, an expert on the appliance, explained why Paris's burns were concentrated on her back. Microwave energy in this case comes from up here. Now the trial is scheduled to resume tomorrow morning at 8.30. Of course, stay with 2 News on air and online at WDTN.com, and we'll keep you posted on any new developments. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.